Hey guys, what's up? Uh, about uh, uh, maybe maybe two miles at the most from uh from um Rodman uh, Rodman Dam. Uh, got to the eighty-eight store yesterday and uh, decided to camp there, partake on a uh, Rocco's pizza, and uh, I had some sprites. And Beer Man had uh, some beers. You know, we just killed some time there. And uh, decided to camp there for free out back. It was hot showers. And uh, the way it played out for our resupply and stuff, we're uh, see what happens today. About 11 or 12 miles into the day. And uh, pretty close to... Uh, um, close to Rodman Dam. So, still early. It's only, uh, it's only like a quarter after one or so. Um, you know, so we've been picking up, picking up some miles. We didn't leave until like 9.30 or so um, from, uh, from the 88 store. We sat there and had a big breakfast. I ate my leftover pizzas and some Yoo-Hoo's, a Sprite, and a cheese crumb cake, and <laughs> probably like a 3,000 calorie breakfast I ate this morning. So, um, but, yeah, we've been noticing that, you know, we've been getting a 15 now, about like, you know, whatever, we've been getting, a, we've been cranking out some pretty good miles to 15, so... Uh, we're, um, probably going to start doing 20s and 25s here. Uh, you know, it just depends how the campsites lay out. And water, everything else lays out. But, uh, yeah, 88 store, beautiful. Uh, Hopkins Prairie, beautiful. Farles Prairie, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Ocala, uh, I, I'm like a mile from being out of Ocala, and I tell you, uh, I was talking with Beer Man last night, and a couple other three hikers that came through, uh, Dirty Bowl and uh, Joe, and uh, you know, we were uh, like, man, you know, I was like, you put me in 80 miles of beautiful wood, and it just flies by, like, I mean, it was just like yesterday that we got into Ocala. Um, just flies by. And, uh, you know, so much different than being on, like, a road walk or something where, like, a 10-mile road walk <laughs> will just seem like it drags on and on and on. For me, anyways. <clears throat> I don't know about everybody. For me, it feels that way. It feels like you get into this beautiful country that you can see in behind me. And, uh, that it just really just flies and the next thing you know you're through it and uh kind of how it's been with ocala looking forward to swanee coming up and seeing long long walker and a, <coughs> a section of trail and all around up around apalachicola and stuff. start making that bend uh pretty soon um start heading west toward pensacola you know, still a couple weeks away, but, uh, you know, it's just going by, becoming surreal now, and it seems like the days are flying, and, um, you know, it'll be over before too long, uh, but, you know, still got a lot of beautiful time left, still got plenty of time to, you know, plenty of time to be doing stuff, so, um, we'll see, uh, we'll see, I think Beer Man's gonna take a few days off, coming up, and, uh, he's gonna take a few days off, go see his friends in Clearwater for their annual get-together, uh, I, uh, think I'm gonna go see Tammy, back in Ocala, and take a couple zeros off anyways, maybe two or three, and, um, and get back to the trail, have a 
you know, beer man either meet up with me or, uh, you know, I just do some uh, shorter days until he catches up. We'll see how it all plays out. But, um, we were talking the other night and we definitely both uh, would like to finish together. Be kind of cool. And we're talking about uh, maybe start planning a PCT hike. But, um, you know, we'll see. Um, definitely would like to finish with him and I get to Fort Pickens and kiss the northern terminus. Um, it'd be kind of cool to do it with him. We've been camping, having fun. Been hiking this whole hike since, uh, since the Oasis Visitor Center together. So we've been kind of, we split up from the unofficial bubble, I guess. And, uh, got ahead of some of them. And, uh, got behind a couple of them. And, um, you know, we've been pretty much stuck in our own bubble for the last 500 miles. But, uh, it's cool. It's worked down good. Had a lot of good fun. Uh, a lot of good memories. So, you know, it's, uh, definitely been nice and, uh, enjoyable. So, um, Anyways, yeah, I'm going to get up here to Rodman Dam and uh, get over it and uh, probably get to the campground, kind of see where we're at with time and uh, kind of see where we're at with time there and take it from there and uh, maybe push on another few miles, maybe stop. Excuse me. Uh, you know, but we'll see what comes from there and uh, what's coming up. So, it's uh, really hard to say because it's still so early in the day. But, yep, Black is really close. Um, Black tomorrow. Uh, resupply. I'll be, you know, resupply days for me. Usually it's more work than hiking. I go through my food bag, figure out what I got, what I need. Uh, and I always forget something. Um, make a list. And you got to organize your food bag again. And it's like a, you know, big chore. Uh, through hiking chores. But it is what it is. I mean, you got to have food to eat. Uh, part of it. But it usually means shorter miles on the trail because you are uh, going into town and doing all the chores and stuff kind of cuts into your mileage for the day. But we'll see what happens, see how it plans out. And I hopefully at least still get 10 or 12 or so in after Palatka and before Palatka. So, but yep, that's the plan. Rodman Dam's coming right up here. Pretty quick. So, gonna check it out, take some pictures, and uh, say goodbye to Ocala. Because I'm gonna miss it. She's a beautiful hunk of woman, this piece of land. And uh, it's all over now. So. so, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Can't stress it enough. You know, I appreciate it. You know, I like seeing the new subscriptions. I like seeing the comments. I try to answer them all uh, as much as I can. And uh, if there's anything you guys want to know, anything like that, uh, just ask me. And uh, I'll do my best to, you know, I'll do my best to make it, make it happen for you. Um, again, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Boxcar out.